I have this list of key words here, and I'm going to go ahead and work one example. And the example is, I'll go 8 plus y. Well, I know I have addition, so I can use sum, okay? And I can use added to, so I'm going to do the sum of y added to 8. And if you don't like the term added to, then what you could use, you could use um, y plus 8. That would work also. And sum tells you that it's addition. Okay, let's look at a couple more. So let's go ahead and write each of these statements as an algebraic expression. And so the first one that we're going to use is you have 8 plus y. And again, I have this list of words. I will use a link to this list of keywords for math operations. I'll leave a link that you can go to that. And uh, at first, you may want to set this in front of you to just kind of help you. I know I have addition, so I'm just going to write that. I'm going to use the word sum of y. And at this time, I could use y plus 8, or I could use y combined with 8. Uh, with 8, any of those expressions would work, and sum tells you that it's going to be addition. Okay? Next, let's move down to 9b. And with 9b, I'm going to use the word multiplication. A lot of time, product is used, so I'm going to use the product of 9 and b okay if you don't like the word product you could be you could use multiplied 9 um, 9 multiplied by b okay but I, I actually like product of 9 and b the best Next, we're going to move down to a subtraction problem. And for there, you can use difference. I'll go with 9 less than x. Or if you don't like that, you could go difference because difference tells you. So difference of x and 9. Okay. Again, you can just, uh, I'm using this sheet and I'm just kind of plugging in words that represent the correct um, math operation. And let's go with two more quickly. I think you're kind of getting the point of this one. This was a little tricky because you have multiplication. And so why don't we try the sum, which means, tells you that we're going to add sum of 5 and 8 times... R. And if you don't like the word times, you could use multiplied multiplied by R or any of these terms that represent um, multiplication because 8 times R, that's multiplication. And finally, the last one, subtraction. I'm going to use the word difference. Okay. Again, on my chart, I could use difference. I could use uh, fewer than, but it's the difference of 4y and 10. Okay, that's how I could write that. Anyway, hope that helps in setting up writing. This is kind of opposite. We're taking the algebraic expression, and now we're translating it into words. I hope that helps. I'll leave a link to this uh, chart of keywords. Remember, Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.